Father's Day. Uh, it's tithes and offering time. <laughs> Not only should we celebrate our human fathers, but God our Father too. Ephesians 1, 4 to 5 explains that before time began, God chose us to be his children through the work of the Son on the cross for our sins. We can give back to our Father in many ways. Tithes and offering is one. And in Acts 20, 35, it says that the Lord himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Let us pray. God, our Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for all our fathers who have provided and helped for our families. Thank you that you are our heavenly Father who we can turn to when we need it. Bless the tithes and offering we give today. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. <laughs> uh, ways to send offerings. Uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna go on this slide. But <laughs> you can send your e-transfer to our email, which is info at christforlife.ca, or mail us a payable check to Christ for Life Ministries to our address, 3607 Wolfdale Road, Mississauga, Ontario. The postal code is L6H6R9. Also, if you'd like to place a donation to our food bank, our email address for the e-transfer is info at goodmeasurefoodbank.com. God bless your day, everyone. Thank you. I would like to ask our beautiful princess and our beautiful Aya to please come forward over here. They're going to do a little cute special number. <coughs> and Noah will be next and then Tuffy.
Have a nice day. May I have Noah? Our little cute Noah. Is Isaiah here? Christoph, Christoph. Is that working? Is that working? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning, it's time to sing your song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be singing when the evening comes bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul Worship his holy name Sing like never before Oh my soul I worship your holy name You're rich in love and you're slow to anger your name is great and your heart is kind for all your goodness i will keep on singing ten thousand reasons for my heart to find bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before oh my soul i 
worship your holy name. And on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years and then forevermore. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I'll worship your holy name. Happy Father's Day, everyone. May I, I say, I say, I say. going to recite a scripture. The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need. He leads me beside green grasses and quiet waters for the honor of his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. You are with me. Your shepherd himself comfort me. You prepare a feast to bring me right in front of my enemies. You put oil on my head, my cup's running over it. I am sure that your good son of all for all the days of my life. Now we're in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Happy Father's Day. Thank you, Isaiah. Now we would like to all ask all the men to please rise up. All the men to rise up. All the men, you don't have, you can be a mentor to someone as long as you're a man. We would like you to rise up and I want them to have, did they have the raffle tickets? Where are the raffle tickets? Okay, Anaya and Janelle will be handing you the, the raffle, but Sister Vasti, where is she? She's going to pray for you. Where's Sister Vasti? Oh, she's right here. God. He's alive. He knows each one of us by name. And, you know, he died on the cross because you're worth it. So today I was asked to pray for you all, but I just want to, I pray with purpose and I pray with understanding. So if you want to sit just for two minutes, and I'm going to share uh, some scripture verses. What we are going to pray for you all for this week as fathers, as men, and as children of God, because we, we are born with purpose. We're not just randomly walking through this earth, you know? And um, I'm going to pray, Acts uh, 17, that they, verse 27, that they should seek the Lord, if happily they might feel after him, and find him when he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. You know, God is in partnership with you. He doesn't leave you alone. He understands the prayers that fatherhood brings, you know, and the responsibilities. And he knows it because he's a father. Right? He understands the responsibilities. He understands the feelings that you have. Like in the pandemic, you know, we were kind of helpless in the beginning because here's a sickness that we had no weapons. But we had the word of God. We always have the word of God. He understands when there was a shortage of food 
and he understands the fears that brings in fatherhood. The other scripture verse is for the earth earnest expectation expectation of the creation eager waits for the revealing of, of the sons of God you know there's a purpose Ephesians 2 then it says from the beginning before you were even born you know God had set aside something each individual can do it is unique only you can do this he has given you gifts talents and abilities and he wants you every day and this is an addition to what pastor was teaching about to live with intention and focus each morning each day is ordered by God we're not to live randomly as children of God we have a purpose and um, he gives each of us gifts, skills, and abilities. He gives us to help each other. Help yourself first and then help each other. Because one day we're going to give account to what God has given you. You're going to stand before God as men. And he's going to ask you, what did you do with the gifts and skills and abilities I have given you? You know? So I don't want to get into that too much. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor went a lot into it, but you're going to answer to that. Especially in this time of age where we're living through the book of Revelation. You know, time is at hand. We also Christ ambassadors because this, the earth is waiting for the men of God to stand up and take authority and to bring freedom to the captives. You know, and this, this world, when you get into it, you see that a lot of people in bondage, a lot of people is hopeless. And that's what our purpose. Our main purpose is to spread the good news. And uh, another purpose as fathers is to train your children with intention. You know, it's not just randomly. Because just as he has given you skills and abilities, that is what you teach your child. You know, you teach your child that there is a God. And you teach your child to develop those skills and abilities to improve his, their lives and the people around them. So we're going to pray into that today, that each day you live with intention and focus. You know, and again, remember that you're going to answer for the gifts and abilities that God has given you. And he's going to ask you, what did you do with it? And you could go and read the, the parable about the talents. You know, because as children of God, we all can hear from God. You know, sometimes we don't need pastor alone teaching us. We have the Bible study and we have our own personal time with God. So I'm going to pray these things for you as fathers today and the fathers to be. <laughs> fathers to be. So, Father, we thank you for being a great father. You are an example of what love is, that you gave your only begotten son. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the men in this church, Father. I ask you to call them out. I ask you, Lord, to bless them and anoint them in their calling, their purpose, their destinies, their assignments. Help them to be great fathers to their children, Father, and to know that they are not alone. You are with them, Father. And Father, Lord, let them find a place and a position and the authority and to live intentionally for you, Father. We bless them today. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you. Noah would like to do a little more of song. Come here. He wants, he wants to sing wow. better.
my grandchildhood hai Happy hour da Hi to Job. Didn't our children do a great job? Thank you. Did all the men get some raffle tickets? Did all because we have some uh, we're not doing a fundraising over the tickets, okay? Um, but Anaya and Janir are distributing the tickets. So uh, there are some rules on the food. We're gonna ask the men to be the first, of course, and then the children or the seniors, or whatever you want to call yourself. Um, seniors first. Senior men first, that's what pastor said. That's 60 out. I'm not sure about that. But, you know, I want to say this from the bottom of my heart, that for those who have no children, you can be a, a father to the fatherless. I grew up with no father. My father died when I was young. But I was greatly honored that they have a massive children, 11 of us. So I have my eldest brother here that I'm very grateful. The second, well, the second eldest, my brother Al. So this man stood as a father to all of us. He, especially for me. He's very close in my heart because I remember taking dentistry. I don't know if he remembers it. He went home to the Philippines. I cried. I don't want to do dentistry anymore. It's too hard. Da, da, da. And this is what he told me. Do you want to be a secretary? Because that's hard too. <laughs> do you want to be a janitor? Because that's hard, hard too. Whatever you want to do in life, it's going to be hard. That got stuck in my head. Taking dentistry. It's hardcore, you know. I was like 80 pounds. I think I won't. I was turning 70 pounds because I kept, I kept losing weight because it was a hard court, uh, course. But he stood to me as a father. Even when I was about to get married and marry this man, he won't let me go home to the Philippines until I met his family. That's why pastor keeps saying, what do you call that, Maman Hikan? I asked for his hand. I really did. I went to his father, met his family. I went to California. I made sure that I'm married with the right family. It's important that family is right so that I can marry this handsome guy and produce beautiful kids. <laughs> so thank you for my brother who constantly, constantly remind us the importance of education. And importance of hard work. He's 70 something, man. He's still working. He's still so strong. Can you see how handsome he is? <laughs> Thank you, my Kuya, for coming here today. So, we're gonna have lunch. We have a beautiful lunch. Hopefully, we were trying to compete with the men. Hopefully, we, we beat them up hard this time. We surpassed them. That's what they said. <laughs> so, while we're gonna, I'm gonna pray for the food, uh, Anaya and Janine will call out some numbers. Right? Uh, that's your call. I'm going to leave that into your powerful hands. So, um, do we have some gifts here? Nice ones, hopefully. So let's pray. Can everybody stand up? Father, to all the men in this area, we are blessed and highly favored, O God. We are grateful and thankful that you gave them to us. Each and every one of us, oh God, of them, oh God, represents you in this world, oh God. And may they continually, continually, continuously create an impact in the lives of people. Regardless of age, oh God, oh God these men, oh God, can have a torch in their hand that's powerful enough to pass the baton to the next generation, oh God. It doesn't matter if it's young, it's old. They are, have a weapon in their hands. 
a good one, oh God, to spark a fire in the hearts of people that need you, oh God. That they will pass, pass the torch, oh God, that the next generation, oh God, will see the impact they're trying to create for them, oh God. That the path that they're creating, oh God, is so powerful, oh God, that every life that they touch, oh God, will be, oh God, touched powerfully. That they will see that the Christ in them, oh God, is reflected, oh God, in all ways. Not fake life. Not fake Christianity. True Christianity. Oh, in depth, oh God. Genuine. Authentic, oh God. No messing around, oh God. True and genuine, authentic Christ-like, oh God. That they will see in what way they utter their words in their mouth, oh God. That everything come up. Their actions, their reflections is you, oh God. It matters, oh God. It matters. Because this world is not going to be right if they don't see it in us so God the authenticity of life so God is very important oh God the people out there oh God are reading our lives so God they don't they read their Bibles but they read our life oh God the testimonies so God our mouth to oh God that are pure oh God will only reflect you oh God our life our genuine heart that has been pruned by you oh God we will reflect it it doesn't matter how frustrated we are we honor this man oh God we honor this man from the bottom of our hearts oh God because they are they are the generation. They will be creating a good generation that reflecting Christ, oh God. And as we honor you, we honor them, oh God. As we reflect you, may they reflect you, oh God. Father, we will go out and witness with our lives because this man makes an influence in the life of others, oh God. No messing up with you, oh God. No messing up, oh God. We want this generation to be saved, to be rich, uh, to know you, to know you through our lives, through their lives, So oh God. It's sad that we don't see that most of the time, but as Christians, we will change that. They will change that because we will be the walking Bible, oh God. We will walk the talk. They will talk, walk the talk. These children will see the light, oh God. Today, we declare victory in their lives, oh God. Today we declare the greatest asset in their life is the light that they're holding, oh God. Thank you, oh God, because that light will never, will never fade, will never be turned off. Because whatever we face in this world, the light in us will reflect, will be reflected. The light in their life will be reflected. The children that watches us will see the light. No matter how the challenges we face, we will be grounded, we will be rooted, we will be stronger, we will be better than any a strong or force of any beast tries to do. And no weapons that's formed against us shall prosper. Thank you for the lives. Bless us as we enjoy all this beautiful food, oh God, that the ladies, the men have shared, oh God. Please thank you. In your most powerful name we pray. Amen.